China is a country in desperate need of massive megaprojects to support its unprecedented growth of population. A country that is on a roll with its mind-boggling megaprojects that are taking innovation to a whole new level. Imagine this, scientific advancements that are not just baby steps, but giant leaps. Today, we're delving into these incredible ventures that are redefining what's possible. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover China's most daring projects that will leave you utterly speechless. So hold on tight and get ready for an eye-opening journey. Starting with the Bay Pangiang Bridge, which is the highest bridge in the world. It crosses over the Bay Pangiang Grand Valley, and its highest drop is 565 meters whereas the Golden Gate in San Francisco doesn't even reach above 67 meters. To give you an idea of its incredible height, you could fit the entire New York One World Trade Center below this bridge. The hilly regions of Xuanwei in Yunnan and Xuqing in Guizhou are connected by the Beipangjiang Bridge, which reduced the previously four-hour journey to less than one. In addition to being convenient, the bridge offers breathtaking scenery because of its altitude. The route is occasionally surrounded by mist and clouds. Guizhou Province is a highly mountainous area, so it needs huge connecting bridges such as the Beipangjiang Bridge. Three of the world's five highest bridges are in this province, and all five of them are in China. But building up on a mountainside has its problems. Architects kept having to move the final location of the bridge higher and higher to avoid caves and cracking in the karst mountains on either side of the valley. It should be made clear that Beipangjiang Bridge is the highest, not the tallest bridge in the world. That prize goes to the Milau Viaduct, France, which is 343 meters high. The difference is the highest bridge is determined by its deck height, but the tallest bridge is the one with the highest structure. China doesn't stop at bridges. They're also constructing massive underwater tunnels that go down deeply. It's a world where heights reach dizzying levels and tunnels take you on an aquatic adventure. China has a real ability to amaze us by taking construction to unparalleled heights and depths. Let's explore the Taihu Tunnel, another massive project of China. This unprecedented large-scale project took Chinese engineers four years and tens of billions of dollars to penetrate Taihu Lake across both banks and build the longest and widest underwater tunnel in China. It takes about eight minutes to cross Taihu Lake. Rather than spoiling the breathtaking scenery with a boring bridge, China decided to take the underground express route. This nearly 11-kilometer long tunnel is like a secret highway, making it one of the longest tunnels in the world. Move over, traffic congestion. China's got a tunnel solution. While the Bay Panjiang Bridge worries about weather conditions, this underwater tunnel remains as cool as a cucumber except for the potential danger of drivers zoning out on such a straight road. Thousands of LED lights are positioned along the route to keep them engaged, transforming the trip into an amazing light show. It resembles a disco party for drivers only, without the dancing area. There are many ways to build underground tunnels. The digging below the waterbed method was used for the Channel Tunnel, which connects France and England. But for the Taihu Tunnel, they chose to use cofferdams to pump out the water creating a dry construction site. Ventilation shafts were cleverly disguised across the lake to ensure privacy. One looks like a hidden island, another like a conch-shaped statue, and there's even one pretending to be an ancient boat. It's like playing hide-and-seek with engineering secrets. Now, as impressive as the Taihu Tunnel is, it's not the longest road tunnel in the world. That distinction belongs to Lerdal Tunnel in Norway. Hold on because China wants to break records, an incredible 105.25-kilometer railway tunnel between Yantai and Dalian is being planned that would surpass the existing record. Which brings us to our next topic, China's massive high-speed rail network. China broke the world record for the fastest bullet train in October 2010. This train covers the 200 kilometers between Hangzhou and Shanghai in less than 45 minutes. Two years later, in 2012, China opened the longest high-speed railway line, stretching from Beijing and Guangzhou. This reduced the duration of a 24-hour train trip to eight hours, or one-third of the time. China has been quietly leading the world in a high-speed rail revolution. Since 2008, the country has built 38,000 kilometers of rail. To put this into perspective, it takes 40,000 kilometers to circumnavigate the entire globe. A modern economy cannot exist without railroads. 
which also serve as a symbol of prosperity. China wants to connect itself across every corner. Railways lines are even ready for cities that have not been built yet. The Xi'an New Area is a city expected to be developed in 2035, but is already accessible through the Beijing Xi'an Intercity Railway. China is always one step ahead of the game. And guess what? China isn't just about speed and efficiency, they're also into futuristic adventures. In January 2022, the Fuxing bullet train carried its passengers without the aid of a driver. It was the world's first ever driverless bullet train. However, China's railway revolution is not without its competitors. Their record of the fastest ever bullet train has been broken by Japan, which can travel at 602 km per hour. But in terms of the size and scale of its high-speed rail, China is very much in a league of its own. Get ready for airport that's like no other. Beijing Capital International Airport is a shiny new gem in the heart of Beijing City. This aviation marvel, the region's second international airport, boasts an astonishing cost of $17 billion. In just six years, it went from a blueprint to a reality, officially opening its doors in June 2019, with four runways acting as the airport's heartbeat, and two terminals shaped like the mythical Sinbird. Beijing International's terminal building is one of the largest single structures ever built. This airport can accommodate up to 72 million passengers and 20,000 tons of cargo annually. The airport is set to become China's largest, but in world's seven largest airport hub. China created sprawling facilities in the airport and introduced a six-pointed star arrangement that puts passengers less than 600 meters around an eight-minute walk from any departure gate. While one arm of the building operates as an administrative center, the remaining five accommodate the airport's 79 departure gates. It will also be the first airport in the world to operate vertically stacked dual departure and arrival floors. This approach enables faster check-in and security screenings while significantly reducing the distances that passengers travel between connecting flights. But it's not just about the airport, it's about the seamless connections it provides with linkages to rail networks, subways, and a personal rapid transport system. The Beijing International Airport ensures a smooth and efficient travel experience. Get ready to be amazed by the crown jewel of the Shanghai skyline, the Shanghai Tower. Imagine this, a mind-boggling 2,073 feet tall, costing a whopping $4.2 billion. When it was finished in 2015, it proudly stood as China's tallest and the world's third tallest building. But it's not just about height. This tower is a symbol of China's economic might. Its twisty spiral design is made from stacking nine giant cylinders on top of each other, creating a whopping 128 stories of awesomeness. What's really cool? The outer double skin construction, a blend of clear glass and super strong hole covered metal that's not just a visual treat, but also a clever way to control sunlight and heat. The Shanghai Tower isn't just tall, it's green too. It's a sham that using less energy, which means it's kinder to our planet. It even got a super fancy platinum certification for being top-notch in energy and eco-friendliness. Step inside. It's not just an office building, it's a whole world inside. Shopping, entertainment, and business all mixed up. Imagine the elevators racing up at speeds that make your heart skip a beat. So, whether you're into cool designs, mind-blowing heights, or just good old fun, the Shanghai Tower has it all. It's not just a building, it's a glimpse into the future of architecture and an inspiring symbol of China's limitless ambitions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.